Gilgon, and I am the researcher on this project. Amanda is also uh, doing research, uh, but I'm more in the background, so you won't see much of me unless you would like to see more of me. Uh, but I'm a professor at the School of Social Work at the University of Minnesota, and I've been there since 1984, which makes it 36 years. And I've got one more year to go, 37. I may be one of the longest serving professors ever at the School of Social Work. And I chose social work because when I worked with uh, children and youth who, and their families who had been abused and neglected, I realized that we didn't know very much about what was happening with the kids. I saw a lot of social workers making mistakes because they simply were ignorant and they were mostly going off what they learned from their grandmothers or in their families and it didn't have much basis in understanding what people were actually going through. So I thought that um, I would like to help other social workers learn how to deal better uh, with children, teenagers, and families where there's been abuse and neglect and other kinds of traumas and adversities. So that's why I went back to school to get uh, an advanced degree so that I could become a professor. I'm interested in healing motion because after all these years of doing research of various types, I've had 22 different projects, uh, including one that I've had for about 35 years, and one I had for, oh, 10, 12 years, and we're going on, this is our third year with the Family Enhancement Center. I'm interested in healing motion because healing motion is an arts and movement based uh, program for teen young women who have experienced sexual abuse and other adversities. I began my research career, you know, 37 years ago or 38 years ago when I did uh, in-depth interviews of girls between the ages of 10 and 15 and who had been sexually abused. I wanted to understand their lives and what the sexual abuse meant to them and how, the, how they thought the sexual abuse affected them. And I was deeply touched by the girls. Um, I thought that they were um, so honest and so eager to share their stories because they wanted to help other girls. Uh, the other thing that was really surprising to me is that most of them said they really, they, they did say that they didn't like the sexual abuse. They really hated the sexual abuse. But some of them had otherwise pretty good relationships with the, the very men who hurt them. There weren't any women perpetrators in my sample. So they said, you know, uh, we want them to change. We want them to stop that. And we want them just to be good to us all the time, not just part time. So I was really surprised at that, that, because I had assumed before I talked to them that they all hated the perpetrators and they didn't want anything to do with them and they didn't care what happened to them. And actually many of them cared very much. Now some of them didn't, and when they didn't, I certainly understood that too. Because, you know, some people are mean all the time. And some people are cruel all the time and some people make fun of, of the people that they hurt. So. There was a mix, but, but many, as I said, just wanted perpetrators to get better and wanted the family back together. So and, uh, I, the arts and movement-based uh, aspects of Healing Motion is very appealing to me because I have learned over the years that when people have experienced various forms of hurt and harm, um, that hurt and harm is often in their bodies. And I also learned over the years that people who have experienced hurt and harm also have a lot of good things in their lives. They often have a sense of humor. They often have a lot of depth and insight. They often have a lot of uh, uh, charm and um, desire to live good lives. And so I wanted to do whatever I could to help people overcome the effects of the hurt and to become the wonderful people that they already are, uh, but to let go of the hurt so they could see what fine young people they are and how much potential they have. So Healing Motion, because of its emphasis on the body, 
helps people, I think, loosen up that hurt. The hurt becomes part of the body, it's in the body, and I think the arts-based and the movement-based helps loosen that trauma and uh, helps uh, young people and older people as well to let go of the trauma, just to say, the trauma is lying to me. The trauma says I'm a bad person, the trauma says I'm worthless, and that's all a big fat lie. And I think that um, healing motion helps young people see that what they think the abuse means actually is not true. That they really are fine young women and uh, the program is designed to help them discover what fine young women they actually are. So, um, the research is, is very private. Uh, no one will ever know that you were a part of a healing motion group. And what we're trying to understand is, you know, what happens in a, in a group? Um, uh, what, how, what do the girls, you know, say to each other? What issues do they bring with them? You know, how do things get better? Or, or how, how do things sometimes become really painful for girls? So, and um, what is associated with girls being able to let go of the hurt and the anger and, and uh, the feelings that, that they're no good? Uh, if they have those feelings, and I think a lot of girls do, you know, some girls probably don't. You know, I think everybody's an individual. So I don't want to make any assumptions. So nobody will ever know. Well, we don't. I don't even know your names. Um, and any um, information that um, Amanda may collect is totally anonymous. We may give you other names, and if you want us to use a particular name for you, we're happy to do that. Uh, when I say we may use other names, we definitely will not use your name, and we will use other names. I that was a mistake. So, um, you know, and if Ma Amanda happens to see you on the street or in another setting, she'll never tell anybody how she knows you. So, unless you're alone, and then the two of you can talk freely. But if either of you are with anybody else, there's no way that anybody's ever going to know unless you tell them. So your privacy is uh, totally protected. So, um, you know, I began my career uh, trying to understand the experiences of girls who had been sexually abused. And it's ironic, I have one more year of being a professor, uh, at least a professor who's getting paid, and um, I'm ending my career looking at this program, the Healing Motion program, to try to understand how the program works and um, how it helps girls, or you know, maybe it doesn't. but. I'm hoping that we'll find that it helps. Uh, so that's that's pretty much what I have to say. If you have any other questions, I'm certainly very happy to answer them. So I hope you have a good um, experience in the group this year.